rubs off on you. Amen. Just yes. let him in. Open the door and he'll come in. Yes. Hallelujah. Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz Domingo para usted. Welcome to New Beginnings Church of the Big Bend. Amen. Amen. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia del Nuevo Comienzo. Prepárese a recibir para que el Señor, por lo que el Señor tenga para usted. Amen. Amen. Yes. So you prepare to receive what God has for you. Amen. You know, it's not about your prayer. It's not about who's behind you or who's in front of you. It's about you. Are you yeah. reaching out? He's passing by. Yeah. Are you going to reach out and touch and grab what you need? He knows, but you know, we are supposed to step out in faith on a daily basis, you know? Yeah. Step out in faith and grab and touch him, and he's going to bless you. Amen? Amen? We have a great message for you today. When troubles Amen. come, <laughs> he didn't promise that no troubles would come. Okay. Troubles are going to come, and we're going to have, we have our scripture in a, in a few minutes. But before we do too excited, grab your swords. Soldier of God, yeah. your mighty warrior, amen? amen. You prepare yourself to receive. You let this word of God encourage you, bless you, and change you, you know? Yeah. Uh, when he corrects us, let's not take it as a, an offense, a, a time to be embarrassed or a time to say, well, you know, I'm, I, I, I'm just uh, uh, embarrassed about this. No, he wants to correct us because he's our father and we're his children. Yes. And he wants to, if you're convicted by the Holy Spirit, then it's time to make a change, amen? Yeah. And don't be offended, amen? So praise yeah. God. Grab your swords, grab your Bibles, and say it like you mean it, church, amen? Yeah. This is my Bible. I have what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. I'm excited. I don't know about you. But. I'm not going to leave like I came. That's right. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. I'm going to be changed. I want the word of God to touch me. I yes. want the word of God to change me. Amen. Yes. I'm a new person. I'm a, I'm a changed person. Yes. And so are you. Amen. Praise God. He's blessed us. He's given us a, his word. He's given us a testimony that we can go out and bless people. Amen. Be the good news God, God wants you to be. Be his ambassador. Be his, his mouthpiece here on earth. Amen. Woo, hallelujah, when troubles come, when storms, giant storms of life come, yeah. and they will come. Here we go. When troubles come, what do you do? Focus on God's abilities to care yeah. for you. <laughs> Amen. Um, towards the end, maybe at the end, uh, this is a great time. I have brought the footprints prayer to read. Huh. And it's awesome. Amen. Because a lot of times, <laughs> when you think you're on your own. Uh. When you have a relationship, you know, relationship with, with your God, Christianity, you know, yes. is having a relationship with him. And if you know he's with you, um, he'll, he'll never, he says he never leaves you, nor forsake you. Right. So you know he's there. But if you don't have a relationship, you feel that you're all alone, you feel by yourself, and you think you're fighting this battle on your own. But you're not. Because he is with you all yeah. the time. Amen? So I encourage you, let this bless you. Amen? Troubles come to all people. Yeah. Save and unsaved. I don't know if you ever heard that before, but whether you're saved or unsaved, troubles are going to come. Family problems, health problems, marital problems, financial problems, addiction problems. These storms will come, and they are going to visit you. Uh -huh. Amen. <clears throat> We've all been through these storms. Amen. Some of these we can camp out on because we know a lot about these. <laughs> the fact that we're saved doesn't mean troubles will That's never right. come. Amen. They're going to come. Keep going. Next one. It says when trouble comes, we uh, comes, we ultimately have two choices: to be the victim and become defeated, or be the victor, as Christ intended us to be. Yeah. Amen. Yes. You know when you know your God, when you have a relationship, you know who you are and who you are. Mm -hmm. Amen. And know that you are a winner. Know that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Yes. And no longer are you just powerless. Amen. Right. You don't. If you're a Christian, don't remain or be defeated. Amen. You're no longer defeated or powerless. He said he's given you his authority. Yes. Amen. You have authority over a defeated devil. So we shouldn't let a defeated devil overcome us. Yes. Amen. We are more than overcomers. We are yes. conquerors in him. Amen. Yes. Praise God. Woo, hallelujah. Keep going. Yes. Next one. <laughs> Problems or troubles. <laughs> or not stop signs, you know? Just uh -huh. because you have a problem don't mean you got to stop and you got to uh -huh. camp out. And some of us are still camped out, you know, oh, from long ago. Yeah. It's time to 
you know, move on. It's time to move on. Know that God is with you, and yes. it's time to move on. Yeah, they, they could be some guidelines. Hey, you know what? I know what I did, so I'm not going to go there no more. I'm wow. not going to do that anymore. I think it was Edison. Was it Edison that, that uh, uh, tried uh, a thousand times yeah. with the light bulb? <laughs> But he kept trying. People said, you know, you failed all these many times. Why don't uh -huh. you just give up? He says, I didn't give up. He says, I just found out how many times it wouldn't work. Yeah. So <laughs> he kept trying another way. Uh -huh. And we know that with our God, we have, we are victorious. Amen? Yes. So, man, we're going to learn from, and if you stuck your finger in there and you got shot, don't do it anymore. Uh -huh. <laughs> if you For hit sure. yourself on the hand with a hammer on your finger, <laughs> don't do it again because it's going to hurt again. So, keep going. Amen. Thank you, Here's Lord. our text right here. Amen. Amen. When the storms or the, the troubles come, realize your source. Yeah. Amen. Realize your source. John 16, 33. This one says, says I have told you these yeah. things so that in me you might have peace. Amen. In the world, you will have trouble. Yes. But take heart, I have overcome the world. Amen. 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 The King James says this. But these things I have spoken to you that in me you might have peace. In the world you will have tribulations, you will have problems, you will have troubles. But be of good cheer. <laughs> be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Amen. So he's given us his word. He's given us his name. He's given us the blood. Amen. All these are great. Amen. And all these we can use against the enemy. Yes. So praise God. And he says, be of good cheer. Uh -huh. In Nehemiah 8.10, we found out last week that, or the week before, that the joy of the Lord is our strength. Yes. So, you know, <laughs> show, you, show your joy, show your strength Amen. by smiling. Yes. You know, <laughs> that's not a sign of weakness. That's right. Amen. It's just a sign that says, you're in control. Uh -huh. Amen. God is with you and you are in control. Uh -huh. Praise God. The easy to read version says like this. I have told you these things so that you might have peace in me. In this world, you will have troubles. Mm -hmm. Troubles. <laughs> they're going to come visit, you know, and they're going to knock on your door. <laughs> so you got to be careful. Amen. You got to be careful. He says, but be brave. I have defeated the world. Amen. Praise God. Isn't that amazing? After he's done all of his work, his mission is completed, he's crucified, and then he tells the Father, Father, forgive him. <laughs> Amen. You know, he could have took revenge and just says, you know, hey, but then he would have been gone again against his word. And that's not what the, him and the Father agreed. Amen. To come and be crucified. Amen. So praise God. This is good. The troubles always get our attention. Realize the source. Who's our source? Jesus. You know, if you, need, if you need some power for this electrical equipment here, you know where you're going to get the power from. You're going to stick it in the in the wall socket, and the power is there. So yeah. we know when these things come, we know that we have power in Him. Yeah. That's why it's so important that you spend time with Him before you hit the world because you don't want to hit the world powerless That's right. or without Him oh, because no, they're going to have you quick. Oh, yeah. Amen? But yeah. no, when you need power, you go to him and you plug yourself to the source. Amen. Yeah. Know that your foundation is in him. Yes. Amen. So praise yes. God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Keep going. Mm -hmm. That goes with the, the other one. First John 5, 4 says this. For everyone born of God uh -huh. overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world. Even our faith. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. This is what Jesus has done. He said, we, we are more than overcomers. Yes. We are more than conquerors. Amen. Yes. Amen. So praise God. Ooh, praise hallelujah. God. I'm you. excited. Thank you, Lord. Yes. So troubles come that get our attention. Realize your source is Jesus. Not the world, not booze, not drugs. <laughs> but we often rely and depend on self. Uh -huh. Our skills, our abilities. Oh, boy. We rely on family, friends, money booze, drugs, and the world. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because we don't know yet. We don't know. We don't have relationship, but we don't know our God. If you don't know your God, now's the time to say, Lord, <laughs> I need you. Yes. Amen. And you know what? He won't turn you down. That's right. If you right. confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, yes. he's going to come to you. Amen. And confess him as your Lord and Savior. Amen. Yes. Say, hey, I've done wrong. I've sinned against you, but 
I receive this, my Lord is saying. Now is the time, yeah. but it's got to come out of you. Amen. Yeah. I can't do it for you. All is well when everything is going smooth and easy. And you know what? <laughs> Things can be going real smooth and easy when you're in the world and you're in sin. And the enemy's not going to bother you because he's already got you. Yeah. But you try to get out. Oh, boy. Trouble's going to break loose. Yes. <laughs> okay? The enemy doesn't want to give you up. The world doesn't right. want to give you up. Your friends yeah. don't want to give you up. Well, and God, and the enemy's going to use mm. all, he's going to use the world, he's going to use enemy uh, friends to try to pull you back. Because he wants, he don't want you to change. He don't want you to leave. You know, when you cast out that devil, he's going to want to come back. So you got to fill yourself with the word and clean yourself up mm -hmm. so he won't come back. Amen. You have no permission anymore in me. That's right. Amen. So you got to tell him to go. That brother, he forgets. Huh. Amen. But when the storms come, and they will come, oh, yeah. we forget about Jesus. Mm. Just like the prodigal son. You know, he's got it made, mm. but then he tells the father, he said, hey, I want to be on my own. You know, that's why we got to pray for our children because our children, they re reach an age or the, if you don't reach them and you don't teach them the way the Bible says tra train your children the way they should go, if you don't reach them, the world will. Yeah. Amen. And then they want to leave and they don't want to be on their own. The prodigal son told his dad, say, I want to go. I'm out of here. You know, give, me, give me my money. Give me what's mine and I'm out of here. Amen. And he took off until the word slapped him silly, you know, and he was found himself with the hog, with the pigs. Mm -hmm. I said, I can do better than this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can do better than this. Amen. You find out. You have to find out for yourself. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You have to find out. But we forget about Jesus. And I know you've heard this, but we treat him as a, like a spare tire. Mm. You know, you can take, go on a trip, you know, and you plan it and say, hey, yeah, I've got to check the tire, check the pressure on the tire. I checked the engine, I checked everything, everything's fine, and I have a spare. Yeah. And we don't ever think about it anymore until you have an emergency. Yeah. Then you pull him out. Mm -hmm. We treat Jesus this way, you know? Oh, <laughs> He's there. Hey, everything's smooth, everything's going okay. And then we forget about him until you hit a crisis, you hit a wall. And then you say, whoa, Jesus, I need you again. Mm -hmm. We think about it on emergency. Mm -hmm. That's only as needed in case of emergency says, you know what? <laughs> Dig me out of this one and I'll change for sure. <laughs> how many times? Uh, how many don't look so, <laughs> so innocent? You know, I mean, I'm talking to somebody because <laughs> it's not just pastors been there before. They say, no, just take me out of this, you know, and I'll never do it again. <laughs> yeah, I've said it many times. I can't count the times, but he knows the times. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. We are powerless without him. Yeah. We're no match to the, de to the devil. And we've got a handout over there that says this. Part-time believers, no match to a full-time devil. If he's going full-time, why can't we be full-time? You know, don't try to go against a full-time devil if you're only <clears throat> serving the Lord on a part-time uh -huh. basis. You know, if Easter's coming up, you know, some people only come to church on Christmas time and Easter time. So it's uh -huh. getting time for somebody to come visit the church. <laughs> so... We have, to, we need him, amen. We need yes. him because we need his power, amen. We have it, yes. but we need to have it in us for it to come out, yes. amen. We got to put the word in so the word can come out, yeah. amen. The enemy's not afraid of us, he's afraid of the word you have in you, yes. he's afraid of the God you got in you, yeah. amen. So we're no match for, for the enemy mm -hmm. if we're only doing part time stuff, oh, <laughs> we're no match to the daily storms of life mm -hmm. without him, yes. Amen. And that's where the footprints come in again. Oh, wow. You know, because he gave up. Said, wait a minute. I said, I noticed that uh, you weren't with me <laughs> when things were bad. Uh -huh. I said, only, I saw two footprints when we started, but now I see only one footprint. Mm -hmm. And when things were going bad, you took off. And I'm on my own. What happened? Mm -hmm. He's questioning God. Mm -hmm. and a lot of us question God. <laughs> he, 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 he had a correction for him. We were afraid. Realize God is our power source. Yes. You need some power source? You need him. Yes. Amen. You need yes. him. And you know what? <laughs> I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but know who you are yes. in him Amen. and know whose you are. Yes, yes. When you know those things, mm -hmm. the enemy's going to say, 
when you submitted yourself to him yeah. and you resist the enemy, yeah. he's going to flee. I say, oh no, she's up again. Oh no, he's up again. Yeah. Oh no, here he comes. You yeah. know what? He's going to take a detour quick. Mm. He don't want no part of you. Okay. Amen. He want no part of you. Uh, have an attitude of gratitude and dependence. Troubles, storms, hopefully will drive us to God and not away from yes. God. Amen. Amen. If these things are happening and you decide, hopefully it's driving you to God and not away mm -hmm. from God. Right. Amen. Because the enemy is going to see these troubles come all the time. Mm -hmm. Amen. He wants to take you back. Mm -hmm. He lost you. He wants you back. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. But don't let these things drive you away from God. Let these yeah. things drive you to God. It's time to abandon ship. Yeah. Unload all excuses, baggages, <laughs> including excuses and uh, distractions. Amen. It's time to just give it all up. Surrender yourself and say, Lord, I'm yours. Yes. Amen. Yes. You've got a mission for me. I want to fulfill whatever mission you've given me. And I know that I can fulfill my mission because I can do all things through you. Amen. And with you in me in my life, uh -huh. I know that I can succeed. Amen. Amen. And we, we can't let him down. We can't let That's our guard right. down. Because, you know, <laughs> the most powerful things that we have is the word of God. Yes. The most powerful things that we speak are the words. Uh -huh. And you're either going to speak life or you're going to speak death. And if you're speaking death words, negative words, the enemy, you've just opened the door for the enemy to come in. Yeah. And you got to watch yourself. Amen. So be, 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 be very careful. Mm -hmm. Woo, hallelujah. I get rid of all the devil and all his friends and anyone or any distractions that he tries to use. Uh -huh. Amen. Uh, James 4, 7 says, what? Submit yourself to God. Resist the enemy and he will flee. If you don't resist, he ain't going anywhere. That's right. You know, he's going to be your buddy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't want the enemy hanging around with me. That's right. <laughs> Amen. So you got to either submit to one or the other. Yes. If you're not submitted to God, you're submitted to the enemy. Yeah. Amen. I mean, it's that simple. Mm -hmm. But it says, submit yourself to uh, James 4, 7. Submit yourself to God, resist the devil, yeah. and he will flee. Uh -huh. Amen. He's got to go. <laughs> Praise God. Yeah. So, guard your words. Yes. Speak faith filled words. Yeah. It sounds hard, but there's no excuse. We have to do it. We got to change the way we speak. Yeah. You know, the Bible says in, in Ephesians to imitate our Father. Uh -huh. You know, I have friends, I have family members, okay, that tell me. Hey, this is the way I am. This is the way I was born. And nothing can change me. Mm -hmm. Well, you're not submitting yourself to God because if you submitted to him, you're going to change. Yes. He's going to yes. change you and you're going to start imitating your yeah. heavenly father. And yeah. you're going to start acting and saying only the things he wants you to say. Yeah. That's right. And those negative things, those cuss words, <laughs> Or other stuff that coming out of your mouth is no longer going to come out. Why? Because I'm imitating my father. Uh -huh. Amen. I want to be like him. Amen. Nothing can stop you except yourself. That's and it. you've accepted defeat already when you're saying nothing can change me. Oh boy. Because God, when you submit yourself, he is able to change yes. you. Yes, Amen. He is. So praise God. Yes. And I can do all things through Christ who strengthens yes. me. That should be our daily confession. Amen. If you're going to confess something, confess it daily. Yes. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Yes. Amen. Praise God. You're on a mission on a daily basis. Yes. And before you submit and you go out in your mission field, mm -hmm. submit yourself to God. Amen. Uh -huh. And confess yeah. Him. Say, Lord, you're my strength. You're my yes. Lord. You're my strength. And I can do all things through you. All and I'm a winner and I'm a conqueror. Yes. And I can do all these things through you. Amen. Right. Don't put yourself down. Lift yourself up. Amen. Oh, praise God. Our words are carriers yeah. and they are creative. They're the yes. most powerful things that you can speak. Yes. You know, we used to say in the playgrounds, uh, sticks and stones can break uh -huh. my bones, but words will never hurt me. Oh, boy. Totally opposite. Yes. That's wrong. It's wrong. And it's Proverbs 18, 20, and 21. We read, life and death are in the power of your tongue. Mm -hmm. So words are yes. the most powerful things that you can uh -huh. say. Jesus, God says, you know, he speaks the word and it goes out and accomplishes what it says has yeah. to do. Amen. 
So, and he created things by using words. So, us, we got to do the same thing. We got to learn. Most powerful, uh, <clears throat> most of the words spoken today are negative words. They bring death, trouble, and problems. Yeah. Opening the door for the enemy to come in. Well, I don't know, you know, sometimes you just got to stop yourself and say, wait a minute. This is happening too often. What's going on here? Something is wrong. You check yourself. Nothing wrong with God. Nothing wrong with Jesus. Something wrong with me. Yeah. Okay, these things be popping up. So what's going on? You check. The Holy Spirit will show you. Mm -hmm. This is what you did. This is yeah. where you open the door for the enemy to come in. Mm -hmm. So, hey, I take that back. Lord, take that. I, I, I confess. I repent. And I won't open that door anymore. Mm -hmm. Close that door. <laughs> But every day, daily, we're bombarded by negative media. We're bombarded by negative words. TV, internet, newspapers, radio, people, friends, families, co-workers. You have to guard yourself. Amen. You, got, you have to be listening. You know, people try to give you all these things, repeat these things, say these things, but you don't have to. I don't receive that. And it's not going to come out of me. Amen. You got to be disciplined enough to know, say, hey, that's not going to come out of me. Right. And I'm not letting it come in me. Amen. Amen. So praise God. You got to be strong. We're a tribe being spirit, soul, body. Feed your, feed your spirit, the word of God. Your soul, your mind, will, and emotions. We got to renew on a daily basis. Well, not just daily basis. You got to renew it anytime you get yeah. a chance. Yeah. Say, wait a minute. <laughs> Especially if you're hanging out with oh, yeah. uh, people. And you heard things and say, wait a minute, I don't see this. I renew my mind to the word of God. Amen. Praise God. Otherwise, yeah. if you don't, you're going to start acting that way. Yeah. You're going to start doing that way. And next thing you know is you're following the wrong crowd. Uh -huh. Amen. You're going to fall back. The body says, <laughs> your flesh, we got to crucify. Yeah. <laughs> this this body don't want to do anything. It just wants to be lazy, <laughs> kick back, and do nothing, okay? Say, hey, manana, okay? <laughs> <laughs> tomorrow, tomorrow, no. Romans 12 and 2 says this in the NIV. Do not conform to the patterns of this world, yeah. but be transformed by yes. renewing your mind. Amen. Then you will be able to, te to test and approve yeah. what God's will is, his good, pleasing, yeah. and perfect will. Um. Keep going. <clears throat> there we go. So we're meeting. And we're to encourage one another and uh -huh. build each other up. 1 Thessalonians 5 and 7 also tells us in Hebrews to submit ourselves, to assemble ourselves together. Mm -hmm. Amen? And we come and we encourage one another and build each other up. Not tear each other. Mm -hmm. Know that we are children of God. You know, Amen. we don't want us tearing one another down. That's we want right. us encouraging one another. Amen? Amen? And we've talked about this before. We're at different levels of maturity. So in the body of Christ, we don't have to go around competing with each other. That's right. Well, you know, come on, he's oh, way up there, and he's way down here, or she's way down here. No. Say, you know what? I used to be there. But you know what? You're one step at a time, one day at a time, and you're going to get up, you know, and just be encouraged in the Lord. Yes. Amen? God is with you. He never leaves yes. you, never forsakes you. We lift each other up. Amen? The enemy wants us to tear each other, uh -huh. and your flesh don't want to do anything uh -huh. until you start feeding your spirit the word. And renewing your mind and doing what God wants us to do. Amen. Hallelujah. Woo, yes. Hallelujah. Praise God. The power of faith-filled words will completely change your attitude yes. about the words you speak. Mm -hmm. You know, it's going to change your attitude about what you used to do, what you used to be. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to, they can change your life mm -hmm. and your future. Amen. I told you, I come from a family of cussing champions. <laughs> and I know them all. <laughs> but they don't come out of my mouth. Because I put a guard to it. Amen. Amen. I put a guard to it. You know what? If you don't speak it, it ain't going anywhere. I just delete it. Amen. It's gone. I don't give it no voice. Words are like seeds. So, going before us, planting and framing your world, yeah. your future. Amen. The words, that's what God spoke words. Mm -hmm. Jesus spoke words. They're planting, these seeds are going to be planted and they're going to grow. Yeah. And they're framing your future. Huh. They're framing where you're going to be. 
Yeah. Amen. This is good. This is good. It's either going to be life or death. Yeah. But it's your choice. Yeah. Which are you going to speak? Mm -hmm. Hopefully, it'll be life yeah. and positive. When trouble comes your way, Stop. continue to speak those faith-filled words. Amen. Amen. Continue to speak yeah. faith-filled words. You know, it's so easy to just uh, mimic somebody and repeat what somebody else said. And you got to catch yourself and say, whoa, I used to do that. Or watch TV and repeat what they say on TV that's negative or hurt somebody. You don't want to do that. you got to catch yourself and say, no, I'm not doing that anymore. This is, this is very important. People react to trouble or storms in different ways. Some grumble. Some gripe. Some groan. <laughs> some grief. And some growl. And some grow. So hopefully we're in the growing side. Mm -hmm. Amen. When storms come, okay, I've been there. I'm going to grow from this. Yes. I'm growing from this. Amen. Yeah. This is going to move me up. I've got faith over this now. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'm going to grow from this. So we're in the in the growing side. Not the grumbling, not the griping, not the growing. Mm -hmm. You know, you you could be around these people all the time, mm -hmm. and not one time they'll ever mention Jesus. Not one time they talk about God. Mm. But you know, you can mention it because you're there. You think God's got you right in the middle of it so you can be <laughs> silent? <laughs> it's time for you to say something. Yes. You know, yeah. hey, I, I've been through what you guys are going through right now. And you know what? God saw me through. Mm -hmm. yes. And this, you know, if you want victory over the situation, this is what you need. You need God. You yeah. need Jesus. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. I'm glad I was there. <laughs> Trouble will never leave a person the same. It will either leave you bitter oh boy. or better. That's right. <laughs> Ooh, this is good. Come on, preach yes, better than yes. you amen at me now. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully it will leave you better. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. I feel better. You know what? Yes. <laughs> if the table is set before you, you need to partake. Yeah. And you can be bitter because they didn't say what you wanted. Well, you could be better because you ate what was there. <laughs> Say, hallelujah, I'm looking at all these good veggies. I love veggies. <laughs> Come on, make me a good time to say amen. <laughs> I love vegetables. I love greens. <laughs> You're not supposed to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. all over. <laughs> you can be better or bitter. It's your choice. Amen. <laughs> You can live a successful life even in the midst of trouble. Mm -hmm. Have peace. They say there's peace in the eye of a storm. Uh -huh. Amen. That's what they talk about. The eye of a storm, a hurricane. There's a, a peace sign right in the middle of it. Huh. Think about Jesus. Mm -hmm. The storm he went through. Yeah. He stepped out of heaven and come to, to the world oh, and stepped into this stormy world. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but he had peace all the time. He went to the Father, Lord, I need your strength, Father, I need your strength. I need your strength to continue. How about Paul? Mm -hmm. He was in prison, but prison was not in him. Right. And he saw himself in troubles. Mm -hmm. And he went through some troubles. He was beaten and he was, all kind of stuff happened to him. But you know what? He had peace about it. Uh -huh. him, the greater one was in him. The greater one is in you. And those yeah. storms of life is going to come. But you got peace about it. And say, oh, hallelujah, thank you, Lord, that you're with me. Just because trouble comes your way doesn't mean that you have to take it laying down. That's right. Man. Especially <laughs> if the enemy's coming at you. Say, so, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. I ain't running from you anymore. That's right. Amen. I'm going to yeah. put you on the run. Mm -hmm. Amen. Or you got to throw in the towel. Mm -hmm. It's so, so easy, you know. When you let your power source, when you let your spiritual batteries all the way low, and the enemy's coming, and you just gonna give up and let him run all over you. Mm. I said, wait a minute, you gotta keep those spiritual batteries up and up. Amen. 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 I ain't giving up. That's Amen. It. Don't give up. That's right. Don't quit. Because you're not a quitter. Mm -hmm. Here it is, child of God. You're a winner. Mm -hmm. You're an overcomer. Yes. You're more than conquerors. Amen. The greater one is in you. Yes. And I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. This is enough to keep me going. Hey, I'm going to yeah. pick myself up. Uh -huh. I'm going to have some real nice uh, pep rallies with uh, with my God <laughs> on a daily basis, you know. Amen. You know, while the world is trying to put you down, I'm going to lift myself up. Uh -huh. 
Okay? Don't allow yourself to be taken down. Only you can allow that. Amen? So don't quit. Don't give up. Don't get bitter. Get better. Yeah. <laughs> know who you are and who you belong to. We cannot escape from this, uh, encountering troubles in life. But Jesus right. has given us the power and the authority yes. to drive these troubles away. Yeah. Amen. You have the source. You know, Jesus told his disciples, he said, we're going to the other side. Uh -huh. He got in the ship and it, went, it started going to the other side. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, here comes the storm. Oh, boy. Amen. You step out of your house on a daily basis. And as soon as you hit the road, here comes the storms. He's told us, he says, this is the day I've given you. Rejoice and be glad in it. It may not be perfect the way you want it, but he's given you a day to rejoice Amen. and be glad in him. And yes. you can do all things through Christ. Yes. Thank you, Lord. So the storm comes and the disciples, you know, the ship, the waves are coming up and, mm -hmm. and the disciples get all worried and they go wake Jesus up and says, why are you asleep? It's not time to sleep. We've got problems outside. <laughs> He says, haven't I taught you? Have you learned anything? <laughs> I've been teaching you these things. You take authority over it. He went out and he rebuked the wind. And there was calmness. Yes. So it's time. Yeah. You know what? On a daily basis, we're maturing in the things of God. Yes. Amen. That's why we don't compare, uh, compete with one another. Because we're at different yeah. levels of maturity. Yes. And you're learning. Hey, I heard Brother Oscar. I heard uh, uh, Rusty. Scott, uh, yes. Vicky, yes. I know how they, I heard them pray, and I heard what they spoke over the situation. Man, that, I learned that today. So I'm going to start doing that myself. Amen. God's going to teach you and hear things. Mm -hmm. Amen. You you see things, you hear things, and then you're, you know what? Hey, I'm going to repeat that. I'm going to learn the word of God, and the word of God is going to come out of me, and I'm going to speak to those things, and I'm going to take authority. Yeah. I'm going to yeah. use that authority to give it to me. Amen? Praise God. Oh, praise God. He's given it to us. And if you're not speaking it, you're going to be defeated. Mm -hmm. Because it's got to come out. Amen. you got to release it. Out of your innermost being shall flow rivers, rivers. of living yes. water. Yes. Living water. Living words yeah. of God. Amen? But you got to release it. Because you just can't bother it. Mm -mm. You can't do that. You cannot prevent this. <laughs> you cannot prevent the birds or the storms of life or cares from flying over your head, mm -hmm. but you can stop them from building a nest over your head, yeah. Yeah. over your life. Yeah, for sure. Amen. Say, so wait a minute. Enemy's going to try every which way, huh. but you know, say, so wait a minute. I know what you're up to. Mm -hmm. You take the word, take the authority that says, you know, hey, I submit myself to God. I resist you. And you're going to make a stand. Stop running from your troubles or storms or words yeah. or cares. And take a stand. Ephesians 6, 13 and 14 in the easy to read version says this. Put on the whole armor of God. Uh -huh. This is why you need to get the whole armor. Uh -huh. Then on the day of evil, you will be able to stand strong. And when you have finished the whole fight, you will be able to stand. Uh -huh. Amen. So he wants to stand strong in him. Uh -huh. When you've done all the stand, King James yeah. says, stand. Amen. Amen. Yes. Stand. Amen. Put on the whole armor of God. Amen. All these things. We'll teach about that on another time. Keep going. Hallelujah. There we go. This is one of them. First Peter 5 7 also talks about that. Um, oh, yeah. Casting all your cares upon him because he cares for you. Psalms 55 and 22 says, Cast your burdens on the Lord. And he will sustain you. Yes. He will never permit the righteous to be moved. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Just different translation. Uh, sometimes I just go and, and use different translations. Amen. But this is what we need to do. Yes. Praise God. Yes. And cast it on him. You're on a mission. Yes. He doesn't want anything holding you back. Right. He don't want no weights holding you back. Mm -hmm. He wants you to go and fulfill the mission he's sending you on. Amen. Mm -hmm. Submit yourself to God. Yeah. And resist the enemy, and he will flee from you. Yeah. Psalms 23 and 4 says this in the, in the Amplified. It says, yes, though I walk through the deepest, sunless valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no dread. I will fear or dread no evil. For you are with me, says your rod to protect, and your staff to guide. They comfort me. 
Amen. You know what the valley of shadow of death I fear no evil. Uh -huh. Why? Because God is with me. Yeah. The Amplified says, even though you go through the deepest, sunless valley. Mm. Amen. It says, your rod of protection and your staff to God, they comfort me. He is with yeah. you. Amen. He's going to see you through. <laughs> God is our safe place and our strength. He is always yeah. our help when we're in trouble. Ooh, hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> Romans 8.31 says that you are more than conquerors. Then you shall say these things. Uh -huh. If God is for us, who can be against us? Mm -hmm. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Yeah. Hey, you know you want a good fight? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> you got to build yourself up, you know. Once you got yourself all worked up, you know, yes. then you call the enemy and say, come on, you want to fight? Uh -huh. I'll give you a fight. <laughs> yeah. Hallelujah. I love, I love, I love boxing. I'm going to box his ears off. <clears throat> Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Give me another one, Carmen. Proverbs 10, uh, 25. When the storms of life come, uh -huh. the wicked are whirled away, but the godly have a lasting foundation. Yes. We have a foundation in Him, amen? Yeah. We have a solid foundation in Him. Keep going. James 1, 2 and 4 through 4 says, Dear brothers and sisters, whenever trouble comes your way, let it be an opportunity for joy. <laughs> but when your faith is tested, your endurance has a change, has a cha chance to grow. Let it grow. Yes. For when your endurance is fully developed, you will be strong in character and ready for anything. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Praise Just count it a joy. <laughs> yes. It is a joy. Keep going, Carmen. Trouble and uh, distress have come upon me. But your commands give me delight. Uh -huh. And that's Psalms 119.43. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Yes. Just some quick things I want to read for you. And uh, we're done. Yeah. Trouble brings unity. Yeah. I think the one of the biggest uh, disasters we've had here lately was the 9-11. Mm. Or the latest uh, hurricane. Every time we have a hurricane... It draws people together. Mm. Amen. It draws people together. They share food. They eat together. They loan each other tools. They 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 just help each other. Yes. Amen. And they also it draws people to, to the Lord. Mm -hmm. <laughs> people not only draws people to the Lord, it draws uh, people together. It draws people to the Lord. Yes. Amen. Say, oh yeah. That's that one of the emergencies. You know, mm -hmm. it draws. Remember. We serve a mighty God. Yes. Amen. God is often the last resort instead of the first resort. Huh. Isn't that the same? Yes. We got to, we, we, we need to change that. Yes. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Trouble is worldwide. Sooner or later, it's going to come to everyone. Mm -hmm. So it's not just in Martha. It's all over the place. Amen. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Trouble comes. It gets our attention. Mm -hmm. uh, Romans 3, uh, 5, 3 and 4 says, We're glad. We are glad for our troubles also. We know that trouble helps us learn and not to give up. Mm -hmm. When we have learned not to give up, it shows we have stood the test. When we have stood the test, it gives us hope. Yeah. We've all been tested, and we all have a testimony. Amen. And the Bible says they learn. They, uh -huh. they, they, they overcame by the blood of the Lamb and the word of the testimony. Uh -huh. You have a testimony, yeah. and God wants you to use that. Yes. Amen. He doesn't want you to hold it, because yeah. that testimony is going to set somebody free. Amen. Amen. So, in closing, Amen. <laughs> I, want to, I want to read to you uh, the footprint. It says, go like this. It's one night. Footprints in the same. It says, one night, I had a dream. I dreamed I was walking along the beach with the Lord and across the skies flash scenes of my life. Mm. For each scene I noticed two sets of footprints in the sand. One belonged to me and the other belonged to the Lord. Mm. When the last scene of my life flashed be uh, before us, I looked back at the footprint in the sand. I noticed that many times along the path of my life there was only one set of footprints. Mm. I also noticed that it happened 
at the lowest and the saddest times of my life. It really bothered me, and I questioned the Lord about it. He says, Lord, you said that once I decided to follow you, you would walk with me all the way. But I have noticed that during the most troublesome times of my life, there is only one set of footprints. I don't understand why in times when I needed you the most, you should leave. The Lord replied, my precious, precious child, I love you. I would never, never leave you during times of trials and sufferings. When you saw one set of footprints, it was then I carried you. Yes. Amen. He wants us to grab a hold of this, you know, because we question him too many times. And we blame him for uh, <clears throat> yeah. our lack of Understanding for our lack of relationship. Yeah. Uh. I was going to say something else, but I'll just keep that part. <laughs> yeah. Amen. But he is always, he says he never leaves you nor forsakes you. Yes. If you just have a relationship with him and you learn his word, you'll find out that he, his word works. Yes, it does. But you have to work the word. Amen. Yeah. And you have to release it. So praise God. I hope that blessed you and blessed me. And uh, continue to grow in him. We know the troubles are going to come. Mm. The greater one is in you. Yes. The greater one is in you. The yes. word is in you. Yes. And the authority, the power, the blood, the name of Jesus is in you. And you got to release it. Amen. Yes. So praise God. You, Pray that blesses you, changes you, and if it convicts you, don't take it as an offense. Just say, hey, it's time to grow. It's time to change. Yes. It's time to, you know, move on. Yes. and grow from this. Amen. Yes. So praise God. Amen. Praise God.